I've noticed that there don't seem to be any porno movies that are made for guys like me. All the porn I've come across was targeted at beer-swilling, sports-bar-dwelling alpha males, men who like their women stupid and submissive, men who can only get it up for monosyllabic cock-hungry nymphos with gargantuan breasts and a three-word vocabulary. Uh, Adult films are populated with these collagen-injected, liposuctioned women, many of whom have resorted to surgery and self-mutilation in an attempt to look the way they have been told to look. These aren't real women. They're objects. And these movies aren't erotic. They're pathetic. These vacuum-headed fuck bunnies don't turn me on. They disgust me. And it's not that I'm against pornography. I mean... <laughs> I'm a guy, and guys need porn. Fact. Like a preacher needs pain, like a needle needs a vein, guys need porn. But I don't want to watch this misogynist he-man woman-hater porn. I want porno movies that are made with guys like me in mind. Guys who know that the sexiest thing in the world is a woman who is smarter than you are. You can have the whole cheerleading squad. I want the girl in the tweed skirt and the horned rim glasses. Mm, Betty Finabowski, the valedictorian. Oh, yes. First, I want to copy her trig homework, and then I want to make mad, passionate love to her for hours and hours, until she reluctantly asks if we can stop, because she doesn't want to miss Battlestar Galactica. Summer come laude, baby! That is what I call erotic. But do you ever see that kind of a woman in a contemporary adult film? <laughs> no. Which is why I'm going to start writing and directing geek porno. I shall be the quintessential nerd porn auteur. And the women in my porno movies will be the kind that drive nerds like me mad with desire. I'm talking about the girls that used to fuck up the grading curve. The girls in the Latin Club and the National Honor Society. Chicks with weird clothes, braces, four eyes, and 4.0 GPAs. Brainy, articulate bookworms with Mensa cards in their purses and chips on their shoulders. My porn starlets will come in all shapes and sizes. My porn starlets will be too busy working on their PhD to go to the gym. In my kind of porno movies, the girls wouldn't even have to get naked. They just take the guys down to the rec room and beat them repeatedly at chess. And then talk to them for hours about Heisenberg's uncertainty principle or the underlying social metaphors in the Aliens movies. Oh, buy stock in some hand cream companies because there is about to be a major short. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> And I'm not just talking about straight porn. <laughs> oh, no. There should be fuck films for my nerd brethren of all sexual orientations. Gay nerd porn flicks with titles like Dungeons and Drag Queens. This idea is a fucking gold mine. I'm going to make millions. Because this country is full of database programmers and electronics engineers, and they aren't getting the loving they so desperately need. And you can help. If you're an intelligent woman is interested in breaking it, if you're an intelligent woman is interested, okay, in breaking into the adult film industry, and if you can tell me the name of Luke Skywalker's home planet, then you are hired. It doesn't matter if you think you're overweight or unattractive. It doesn't matter if you don't think you're beautiful. You are beautiful, and I will make you a star. That's Nerd Porn Auteur by Ernest Klein, author of the best-selling book and pop culture Holy Grail, Ready Player One, soon to be a major motion picture, directed by Steven Spielberg. 
And now I need to go take a shower. <laughs>